Hey everyone, welcome back to more World of Tanks gameplay. And today we're in the T-54, and yes, you can yell at me all you want, because I do have the top gun on this thing. And I have no equipment, as you can see, so perfect, perfect. But I'm in a platoon here with TB Rays, and we are going to give the enemy a run for their money. <laughs> Well, I guess that's a spoiler, but that's all the spoiler you get. Now just sit back and watch and see what happens. So, TB Ray's there is in his M48 Patton, Tier 9 American Medium, and I'm my T-54, Tier 9 Russian Medium. Alright, let's get out of there before artillery decides to get smart with us, just in case. And why am I using the big gun on this? Why am I using the, well not really the big gun, why am I using the top gun? I don't know, maybe because I'm a fool? Why don't I have no equipment? Because I'm more of a fool. Now, the second to top gun on this tank does have, I think it was 17 or 18 millimeters less penetration than this one does. However, it has better gun handling and it has a slightly better rate of, a slightly higher rate of fire, which is always good, especially like that, where you miss almost every shot you make and you take a shot. Well, you probably would have fired anyway, but you take a hit without doing any damage in return. Un Unless you get lucky like that and he sticks himself around the corner, but okay, whatever. Uh, but no, after this battle, I did the next day go back, put the smaller gun on here, throw some equipment on here. So now it is a much quicker aiming tank, and I would recommend you do the same. Uh, if you're worried about that 17, 18 millimeters of penetration, then I don't know, carry a few extra gold rounds. Ten seems to be plenty, <laughs> so I carry that around and just just for those sticky situations, you know, when you're shooting at something that's say a tier 10 heavy or if you're near the end of a, a battle and you really need to make sure every shot does count then that's really nice too to have that guaranteed penetration but I'm gonna push up the hill here even though that Skoda is probably gonna be behind me very soon I'm doing this I'm gonna see what's up here I know there's a couple tanks and we're gonna pick on this guy and hi TB TB seems to have a pretty similar playstyle to me it's kind of a little bit of a safe playstyle but at the same time I don't know what it is. I'm going to turn around, turn around, snapshot him. TB does the same thing. Ammo racks him. Wow. That right there will be a game-changing moment. <laughs> I said no more spoilers. Game-changing in what way? Hmm? Maybe someone's going to have an uh, unfortunate incident with that turret on the ground. You never know. Uh, but there we go. We've already picked up a few kills between us. And things are going quite well. Let's see what other damage we can do. So, right now, TB's saying, all right, I can't fit through that gap with this tank. At least not easily. I don't know if he can. At all. But there's also a bulldog over there. And right now, we're going to play a game of patience. How are we going to do that? Well, we're just going to sit here and aim. Artillery just fired not too long ago. So we're just going to sit here. We've got plenty of time. The bulldog is eventually going to get impatient. and want to peek through this window or this gap again and see if we're still here and when he does he's a one-shot kill so let's see if he'll do it as that glitchy zoom in replay bug happens oh there he is and there he goes and crap there's a mutz behind me I am getting dangerously low on health points now I've got 300 left a lot of the tanks around here can kill me with one shot from 300 health points I'm gonna go around this corner try to get a shot into him as he retreats but no way too slow where'd he go oh he went between the buildings okay that's how he got out of there so fast I was thinking he went back down the hill a little bit TB's going in there TB gets fired at, takes no damage in return, and that little gap there that is very sneaky. It's gotten me shot before. It's, I don't know, that that gap there, you have to always remember that things like that between buildings exist. And that's, it's like that on a few maps, so you kind of got to watch those little details where somebody who knows those things might get you on surprise. But now our base is being captured. We're going to have to worry about that VK a little bit later on. And we're going to speed back towards cap. I was a little bit worried that something like that Waffentrager Panzer Fear over there was going to hit me as I came down from the center, but looks like he's in the no position. And I'm not terribly afraid of that little VK-2801 or whatever it is, that scout. I thought about going up there, but I decided, you know what, the T-30's going there. Me and TB are going to go around this side. I can't afford to take a hit, so I need to try to make sure that T-30 is a distraction. Or I can use TB as a distraction here because he, he has over 70% of his health left. He can take a hit or two. And that's exactly what we're going to plan on doing. Now remember, with this big gun with no equipment, well, it doesn't make shooting things easy, especially when you aim horribly like that. This one, eh, that one's only partially my fault. Alright, but that T-30 now just finished off the Waffentrager. 
And this VK, he's going to give us so much trouble. He's going to keep us lit up for artillery. I really want to take him out, but I can't afford to sit in the open because if something shoots me from town or from one of the middle roads, which they could if I push up, then I'm in trouble. And just as they were and are hitting TB there. Luckily, TB gets a, a really cheeky shot in there. I didn't think he'd be able to make that. And takes him out. Our chances are dwindling, though, now. It's three against five. Let's see what we can do. All right, so right now we're kind of being a little bit scared about artillery. We don't know when they last fired. We don't know if they're looking at us. And it is a little bit concerning. Our T-29 has found the French autoloader way down there. Let's see how he does about that. Uh, you'll see here in a second, I'll check how many health points they have. But since they're outside of my render distance, that information is kind of outdated right there. So that's not really of any help. All right, now what can we do? We are unspotted. There's a bush up here. Maybe I can see if something's coming down from the center. Because remember, three of their tanks were last spotted near the middle. Let's see, what do we see? Oh, oh, hi. Hi, Conway. Let's not get shot by you. We do have six cents, and we didn't get spotted there. TB's going to try a cheeky shot. He backs up. I tried one as well, but of course, lacking all this equipment. Well, <laughs> that doesn't help anything. And now we're worried about artillery again. I'm going to try to hug this house a little bit. This hill a little bit. Hoping that it'll make it at least a little bit more difficult for artillery. Although those British artillery are pretty good at shooting over top of obstacles. Such as said building or house. Or hill. One of those things that I just said. Alright. Oh, and there is the bulldog. Which I quickly miss. Luckily though, TB. He's here to back me up. He is on par with his shooting today. He's going to put that in. Oh, and now, TB, we have another issue. We now have this 5100 that killed the T29 pushing up to us. And I need to make sure that this shot does not miss. I don't know. Uh, I can't allow him to unload his entire clip into TB there. I couldn't tell how many TB... How many... I couldn't tell how many TB's health points had left. What? Uh, <laughs> without looking at him. And I didn't have time to do that. So I had to kind of rush the shot a little bit. I didn't want him to die. I need him. It was a 2 versus 5 there. Right before that M41 died. Ooh, and that bounced. That was really lucky. And TB, of course, finishes him off. He's now at 5 kills. He just needs one more for a top gun. Oh. Well, crap. Artillery just got a good shot in. And finished him off. Now it's just me alone. I'm at 4 kills. 2 enemies left. That means if I kill both of these, I can get a top gun. And unfortunately, if I get these, no pressure. I'm still going to be one shot or one kill short of a crucial contribution. If you get 12 kills between your platoon, regardless of if it's two or three people in your platoon, then you get a nice crucial contribution, which I do have one or two of somehow. But unfortunately, we're out of the running for it this time. Now, what am I doing? I'm going to peek down here. I'm wondering where that VK is. He's just a tier 7. I'm a tier 9, I'm a T-54, a T-54 is pretty decent armor for a medium. Its hull armor is alright, its turret armor is pretty great. I mean, unless something hits the roof of your turret, then your turret is pretty close to indestructible, or as indestructible as a medium tank's turret really gets, I guess. So let's see if we can track him down. Is he still in the center somewhere? Oh, oh, there he is. Alright, my first thought now is, I've been spotted, artillery's gonna be looking this way. That VK is distracted a little bit. He's afraid of what I'm doing. So I'm going to back up against this building, keep my armor towards the VK, and hope that it holds. He missed. I put a cheeky shot in there. I'm thinking, oh god, artillery, please still be at their base. Please be in a place where you can't hit me. Please don't be able to splash me and take most of my health points. I'm not sure if this VK can kill me with one shot or not. But regardless, there is a pretty good chance that unless he's firing premium rounds, that he is going to bounce off the front of me. But I have to assume at this point that he is firing premium and that really anything could happen. But now I decided, you know what, I need to get out of here. I don't like sitting there. I'm not going to wait for the VK to make his move. I don't want to play on his terms. I want to play on my terms. And that VK being a heavy tank, and a little bit slower than me, of course. <laughs> I'm sorry, Skoda. You're missing your head. That's, that's TB's fault. <laughs> uh, I'm going to move on and take the fight elsewhere. I'm going to make him play on my terms. So now, I'm over here, I'm going to hunt down artillery, I'm going to see if I can find him, but I don't want to take a lot of time doing it. Why? Because that VK has probably by now clued in that I'm not there anymore, that I moved on, the artillery is going to realize that the VK realizes that, or something like that, 
and he's going to be bracing himself for me to come to him because that's what a lot of people do in these situations. If they're in a bit of a sticky situation or they think they can't win something or they have the, the freedom to do so, then they go pick on artillery because artillery can take them out of the battle so fast without even having a chance to really fight back that going to kill them is a good thing to do. You don't want them shooting at you more than they absolutely have to. So let's see if we can hunt this VK down. I'm half expecting to find him on this path. I'm thinking, all right, maybe he thinks I'm going for artillery, which I was looking for him there briefly, but I didn't really want to give my position away if I didn't have to, because I'd like to kill this VK in these hills. But let's let's go see here if we can find him. Do you think he's still going to be in the same place? Is he still going to be sitting up there waiting for me? I mean, he is a pretty good player, so you'd think after a few seconds of not being able to locate me that he'd be all right I need to move he's a medium I don't want him playing I don't want to play by his rules so again tries to put things to, uh, set things to his own rules it looks like no he's not up here maybe he went down the hill I'm thinking maybe he's gonna go try to cat maybe he's gone down the hill and around back towards the town where I just was so let's peek out a little bit and I don't see him so hoping to use the bush I didn't peek out too far spend much time there because I want to find him before he gets out of here. Now I'm thinking, all right, maybe he went over to this path right there where TB is blinking. TB is having the same thought. Maybe he's going down that path, or maybe he's sitting up there trying to find me in town, trying to snipe me from a distance or be sneaky about it. So let's go see where he is. Oh, and there he is. There you go. And there's a shot on the move. Got actually didn't let us down now. Hopefully artillery isn't aiming here. I'm thinking, should I sit still and try to hide behind these mountains, behind these hills? Should I go left? Should I go right? Let's go right. Oh, let's hope I'm not spotted by now. Don't hit me, artillery. Ooh, and good thing I didn't go that way. That might have actually hit me. That looked like the timing was pretty close. And really, I don't want to lose any more health points than I have to because artillery might not hit me directly, but if he splashes me twice, then I'm definitely dead. Almost definitely, sort of. Let's go hunt down that artillery now. Based on where that splash was, he could be near our base, he could be near their base, but I'm going to assume that he's still near their base, and he's probably on the opposite side, say towards the 789 line over there, than I was just at. So I'm not expecting to see him right here. And let's hope we don't get any unwelcome surprises. I'm a little bit worried that he's going to try to shotgun me somewhere. And he's probably just about reloaded by now. So let's see if we can go find him. Hopefully before he finds us. I have loaded a high explosive round with an armor piercing round loaded next after that. My hope is that I can either penetrate the high explosive round and kill him with one shot because he has 10 more health points than I do, or than I can do with one shot with a high explosive. Oh, but he is capping at the same time. Oh, I hesitated. What do I do? Was I in the cap five seconds ahead of me, ahead of him? You have to be five seconds ahead into the cap in order to cap, to finish capturing without it becoming a draw. But no, I was four seconds. So, so close. Uh, but that high explosive round, even if I don't kill him with it, I'll still do some damage, and then I'll load that armor piercing round next, and be able to finish him off with that, no problem. But he has now got out of the cap, because he knows I am coming to hunt him down. And there's only a minute and a half left in this battle, so there's not enough time for me to turn around and try to cap again, which might work, and he might get lucky with some pot shots into the cap too, because he's probably going to get time for a couple of those. So let's go see what we can find. I was hoping he wouldn't be set up here trying to shotgun me because I was afraid that might actually work. And now I'm thinking, all right, so if he was going down to my right there, down that hill, I would have spotted him. If he was in the center, I would have spotted him. So unless he was just in the perfect spot up there in his escape, he is to the left here trying to run back down that line. So let's go over there and see where he is. Oh, hi. Ooh, a high explosive shot in the side. Still doesn't penetrate. Still doesn't penetrate. What are you doing? Oh my, what are you doing? Please, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> that was extremely satisfying. That was one of these battles where you are shaking and your heart is beating for the next five minutes afterwards. And me and TB just sat in TeamSpeak, because we were in TeamSpeak this whole time, talking with each other and just going, oh my, what did we just do? If that Skoda earlier on wouldn't have gotten an ammo racked, he might have killed me. I mean, he would have at the very least caused one of us to take more health point damage or damage our teammates somewhere and made that difference because I was at the end of that battle, essentially a one-shot kill to anything. So we really couldn't afford to take any more damage on our team. And that is pretty close to as close as those battles come. We were at 2v5 at one point there. Wow.
We just couldn't believe that, that just happened. But that was a very good game. TB with his 5 kills, me with my 6 kills, me with 2700 damage, TB with a whopping 6200 damage, so that's where the inaccuracy of this gun came in, which is why I've sent switch guns and put some equipment on this thing. Wow. Hopefully I can have more results like that, and I tell you, it's not going to be the last time you see TB around here in these replays. I, maybe that's a little bit of foreshadowing, maybe not. But wow. At the very least, you'll see him in a lot more Spin Tires videos, and I'm sure he'll be in around, around in a platoon or two later on. But thank you everyone for watching. I will see you later.